Hi friends, my name is Lex and I'm the senior designer at Boston Children's Museum. Today I'm going to be giving a brief photography lesson you can try at home. You just need a camera. It doesn't have to be a digital camera. You can also use a Polaroid camera or a phone camera. Ask an adult for help. Today's topic is about documentary photography. Documentary photography is about recording historical events as well as everyday life. Many historians say that right now is a significant part of our history, so we should be recording it. Many of us may have been stuck indoors right now, but the things we're doing every day in our homes are important to photograph for your family's history as well as the country's. What may seem kind of boring to us right now may actually seem pretty interesting to someone in the future. Here's a few examples of documentary photos I took in my home. I have been busy sewing masks for friends and family. Our key holder near the door has turned into a mask holder. I've also been exercising at home to stay healthy. I do exercises on a yoga mat and have virtual dance classes in my living room. To relax, I like to read books, pet my cat, and play video games. What are some things you and your family are doing differently right now? What are some activities you're currently doing from home? The next time you do them, make sure to take a photograph or have someone photograph you. Then, have a grown-up share it with us. We love to see it. You can also create a time capsule with some of the photographs printed and other items from your home. A time capsule is a container that you store objects in that are common or important right now for people to discover in the future. I made a time capsule myself as an example. I downloaded this COVID-19 time capsule title page that was made by Natalie Long. You can find the link to all the worksheets Natalie Long made for adults and for children within the description. I printed it out, colored it, and wrapped it around this tin container. Then I printed out some of the photographs to put into the container. I'm also going to put a mask I sewed into the container and some mail I received and the worksheets. You can put whatever you like into the container that's not perishable. When you finish making your time capsule, ask a grown-up for help on where to hide it or store it. Your family can open it sometime in the future. Don't forget to keep checking our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more videos of activities you can try from home. Thanks for watching.